Hi, it was my birthday last weekend and I've been on a bit of a blogging break. I treated myself to a small beauty haul, quite small actually, so I'll just show you what I bought. First up, this is actually a present from my mother, a Tom Ford eye colour quad in Honeymoon. This is my first Tom Ford quad. Comes in this beautiful velvet pouch. That's the packaging. Oops, the little applicators fell out. So these are the shades inside. I am wearing them right now. So I can't get over it. It is so beautiful. And the eyeshadows have very, very little fallout, the least fallout that I've ever seen from any eyeshadows. And, and the colours are perfect for me. They're all shimmery shades. I'd love to explore more eyeshadows from Tom Ford. Although I've been wanting to treat myself to Tom Ford eyeshadows, the sort of price point put me off. Uh, but then my mum made a present of this for me for my birthday this year. These earrings are my present from my dad this year. So I also bought some of the new Wet n Wild Pro brushes. Uh, I know there are 10 of them, I think. Two of them were out of stock, including the blush brush. So I've got the Precision Setting br Brush, the Dome Eye Pencil Brush, the Fluffy Blending Brush. I wanted the lot. The Tapered Highlighting Brush, the Tapered Blending Brush, the Precision Flat Face Brush, the flat contour brush and the precision foundation brush. So I'll just show you what they're like. Now these are beautifully made and they're all rose gold. What's not to like? They're very soft. They're not quite as dense as I would like. This for instance is, this is the precision foundation brush and I don't know if you can see that, but two of the bristles are sticking out. So not only are two of the bristles sticking out, you can't pull them off either. I probably have to cut them off. And it's not as dense as I would like. Um, I normally like my foundation brushes to be flat, very dense. Now this isn't flat, there's sort of a cup inside. I suppose it's one of those drop brushes where you drop the foundation and then apply. Kind of like a reservoir. So I'm not a huge fan of the Precision Foundation brush. To be honest, I know I haven't tried these out, but first impression, not a very good one. Right, the next is the flat contour brush, and these are absolute pains to get out of the packaging. Gosh! Right, so that's the flat contour brush. And I don't know if I'll be using it for contouring, but this is a much nicer brush than the, the, the Precision Foundation brush. It's denser, it's equally soft, but the bristles are well cut. No overgrowth here. That's a good brush. Very sturdy, not bending or breaking. Thick handles and ferrules, very nice. So let's see what the Precision Setting brush is like. I prefer my setting brushes to be a bit um, denser. So I'll probably use this as a highlighting brush or maybe a bronzer brush or even a blush brush rather than a setting brush. I like to sort of buff in my setting powder with a flat top brush. And then there's the tapered highlighting brush. And now this is a very good one for highlighter, excellent. The perfect density, the perfect flexibility, the perfect length, and the bristles are nicely evenly cut. Very nice. So, faux brushes seen so far. I like two, I dislike two. Fluffy br blending brush. Let's see what that's like. A bit too long and too big for my small eyelids. Apart from that, nicely dense and flexible. Let's see what the tapered blending brush is like. Ah, this I like. This I really like. This is the perfect length and size for me. What I absolutely dislike is that you need special combat training or something to get the brushes out of the packaging. 
and it is a very bad idea to do so if your nails are newly painted. Right, so that is a precision flat face brush, very nice. This will be good for primer, concealer and even eyeshadow on the lids. It's quite dense, quite thick, quite rigid. I don't know if it's going to tug at the skin, let's see. Probably, yeah. Finally, there's a dome eye pencil, sorry, dome pencil eye brush. This I also like. It's good for the outer V. Very nice, rigid. Probably tug at the skin a bit. I don't know. You should probably try it out before making such conclusions. So those are the eight wet and white pro brushes that I bought myself. For my birthday i really dislike the precision flat precision foundation brush uh, apart from that i can live with all the others they're quite good uh, and they're incredibly good for the price but apart from the precision foundation brush as i said i haven't tried the regular wet and wild brushes so i can't really compare those so apart from this i treated myself to some skincare from korean brands and i stocked up on enough sunscreen for the rest of this year i mean summer sunscreen can't live without it so my favorite so far seems to be the face shop Na eco natural sun clear sunscreen stick now the reason i like this so much is that it is a clear stick no question of a whitish cast there. And first impressions blends quite well, does not leave me oily. And I'm very, very oily faced, does not break me out. No Korean sunscreen product has ever broken me out. And I prefer Korean sunscreen to regular sunscreen. This is SPF 50 PA tri triple plus. Then I have two sunscreens from the brand APU, APU, APU. Um, the first is the Pure Block Aqua Sun Gel, and the second is the Mango Sun Gel. This one is SPF 42, and this one is SPF 50. Uh, both are broad spectrum. This is PA double plus, this is PA triple plus. This is probably stronger. And uh, the gel formulation means that it's very, very lightweight, perfect to wear beneath makeup. Now, one thing I love about Korean sunscreens is that they come in a, such a variety, such a varied range of formulations. You have essence sunscreen, you have primer sunscreen, you've got uh, skincare moisturizing sunscreen. There's so much variety. This is the Innisfree Perfect UV Protection Essence Water Base. So that's your skincare and your sunscreen combined. This is SPF 50, BA++++. Beautiful formulation. I've tried this very lightweight. This one is new. I haven't opened this. This is It's Skin Perfect Sunblock UV Away uh, SPF 50. Um, I haven't opened this. This I'm saving for later. I also bought two cleansers. Uh, the story being I wanted the Cosrx Good Morning Low pH cleanser. It's out of stock everywhere. So I bought the other Cosrx cleanser, Cosrx Salicylic Acid daily gentle cleanser and I hope I like this as much as the good morning low pH cleanser. Um, I also bought the Etude House one shot morning gel cleanser. The reason I did that, uh, there are two reasons. One is it says morning gel cleanser, like the good morning low pH cleanser. Secondly, it also says that the pH of this is 5.5, so which is very similar to the COSRX good morning low pH cleanser. So until that one is restocked, I hope that these two will see me through without massive breakouts. I bought two vitamin C's. The first is Tiam My Signature C Red Serum. This is the former OST. This is the former Wish Trend. This brand renames itself so often it makes my head spin. <laughs> no, really. So this is, uh, it contains 20% pure vitamin C, pure L-ascorbic acid. It goes straight into my refrigerator because otherwise it's going to oxidize. It also contains vitamin B12 and glutathione. Now this is its skin VC effector 10. That's vitamin C effector. This is for milder days, post scar revision days. This is for regular days. 
So I had the stupid idea of doing a keratin treatment, you know, Brazilian blowout. You can see it hasn't had much effect either. That's because I had to wash it out immediately. Um, I had it about a week before my birthday. Unfortunately, it broke me out. So I had just recovered from all the steroidal breakouts that after having to take steroids for acute urticaria. And I was breakout free for the whole of March and for the first week of April. Um, and it was too good to last that I had to go and F it up myself. So I did this keratin blowout and boom. I don't know if you can see all the huge cystic lumps. So I stocked up on uh, anti-acne skincare products from Korea. My favorite brand being Zymogen. Very, very, very strong products. Uh, potent stuff, not for the faint of heart. They are going to sting unless your skin is used to strong acids. Uh, this is the serum and this is the lotion. It contains, I have no idea how to pronounce this. It's Hutunia cordata. Never mind, it's a herb. I also have Zymulgen's AC Doctor A Serum for Oily Skin, which contains retinol, and Cosrx Center La Blemish Ampoule, which is supposed to be very, very effective. And then I have Shara Shara's Betox Spot Treatment, Intensive Acne Spot Treatment. So hopefully those will put paid to these breakouts. After a Brazilian blowout, after keratin treatment, you sort of let your hair loose, uh, wear your hair open and uh, go off to sleep and don't wash it for four days. So your hair gets on your face and everywhere, and all the keratin um, gets everywhere and it's broken me out clearly. My dermatologist is going to skin me alive. If you don't hear from me again, it's because that's what's happened. Finally, after all that acne treatment and vitamin C and cleanser and things like that, I have two moisturizing products, both from Mison. This is their Skin Recharge Activating Serum, my favorite snail intensive repair ampoule being sold out. I bought this and I also have the Mison Soft Milk, Soft Milk Whipping Cream to act as an occlusive final step. Um, everything that I bought is from Ruby Ruby shop, which apparently is Rose Rose shop's new um, concern. Now the bad news about shopping on Ruby Ruby shop is that they send no samples at all. I asked for samples specifically, I didn't get even one, not even a foil sachet, not even a one mil sample of some random cream or the other, not even a random toner, not even one mil. I'd asked for samples. No. Uh, the good news, however, is that they ship worldwide and they have a flat postage rate of $2.50. You can shop for 10 kilos, you can buy products worth 10 kilos, and you can live in, I don't know, Guadeloupe, and they'll probably send you, um, charge you just $2.50 again. It's quite nice, that, and postage is fully tracked until it reaches your doorstep. So that's a great thing. Uh, I would have liked to see some samples from them as well, because... Korean products, you need a few samples. So that's my birthday beauty haul. More skincare than makeup, I know. Just the one makeup product, Tom Ford. Quite a few brushes in there, though. Um, my next haul will be my regular mid year makeup haul. So stay tuned for that one. So that's all from me for today. Thank you for watching this video. Please do give me a thumbs up and please hit the subscribe button. And I'll speak to you soon.